Hi, I'm Chris Verich. I'm the owner uh, and brewery operations manager of the Ohio Brewing Company. The Ohio Brewing Company has, oper has operated in Akron for, since uh, May of uh, 2008. We can produce around 2,500 barrels a year, or about 5,000 kegs. We sell by, by six pack and by case and, and, um, and through draft. We have five regular beers that we have year round. We have the Verich Gold, we have the Cardinal Ale, the Alternative Amber, the Ohapi Ale IPA, and the Steel Valley Stout. The Verich Gold's our lightest beer, and that's our pretty much our closest to a normal, what people think of a normal beer, like uh, uh, say a Miller or uh, a Lion Kugel. Uh, it's, it's just a nice drinkable, drinkable ale and that's one People's Choice Award for Best Beer at the uh, Cleveland uh, Oktoberfest. We won Best uh, best Brewery, People's Choice Award for Best Brewery. Uh, the next beer is our Cardinal Ale, it's our Irish Red Ale. It took first place in the World Beer Championships and it's, uh, it's a nice drinkable uh, red ale and it's sort of like a stepping stone beer or a training wheels beer is what I call it. It allows people to try something more flavor but uh, not really too bitter, too strong, uh, too overpowering. So, so, then they can graduate from there to, to more, more flavorful, more assertive beers. Then the third beer we have regularly is our Alternative Amber. It's a medium bodied, uh, dry finished ale. Uh, and it's kind of like a session ale. It's more more flavorful, but uh, still again, not, not, not too bitter where you wouldn't want to have uh, another one of them. Uh, and that won a gold medal at the Cleveland International Beer Festival at the IX Center in, in, uh, in 2011, May of 2011. And finally, our, uh, re oh, excuse me, we have our Ohoppy IL IPA. That's a beer for people who like uh, really hoppy beers. And that's for those hop heads who like uh, more flavorful beers. And then finally, our Steel Valley Stout for those who love you know, Guinness, or a stout, rich roasted coffee flavored stout. And won a silver medal at the um, IX Center International Beer Festival. And then we do uh, a variety of seasonal beers. Uh, we were able to uh, pass a, uh, a, a, some legislation to benefit the Ohio uh, microbreweries, the craft breweries, uh, allowing uh, microbreweries to have a tap room in their establishment uh, without having to pay an additional uh, permit uh, fee. Currently, if you have an A1 permit, that allows you to manufacture or brew beer. You cannot do anything else other than manufacture or brew. You can't have a restaurant or a pub. If you wanted to have an extra pub, you'd have to buy a separate license called an A1A license that would double the price, uh, obviously. Uh, so I figured, why couldn't the microbreweries, if they just want to have a simple tasting room, not an or ornate uh, restaurant, have a lot of you know, menu items. I just, I just wanted my brewery and a lot of craft breweries in Ohio to just have a simple tasting room where you can just feature your beers. And it's sort of like wineries do. So I. I, I know a little bit how, how uh, the process works. I used to be a state representative in, uh, in, in Ohio, so I was able to find a, a piece of legislation, House Bill 243, and uh, that seemed to be a good fit to add an amendment to that, that, that bill. And it already passed the ho House, it was in the Senate, so we added it in the Senate, allowing for, for tasting uh, at, at uh, you know, microbreweries. And it, it passed the, uh, the Senate, and then it had a concurrence in the House, and. Then the governor signed it, and in 90 days it'll become law. I believe March 22nd is when uh, legally you can open up uh, a tasting room in your microbrewery. I just wanted to be able to allow people to come in and, and sit down and have a beer, sell them a glass of beer, and uh, feature feature my products without having to have you know another another license. And it's like wineries. Microbreweries should be treated just like wineries. I thought. You know, I allow people to come in and 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 have tours and, and see what we're all about. They, they can contact us uh, um, at, at our phone number, 330-252-8004, uh, leave a message, or they can contact us via our uh, email, info at ohiobrewing.com. Uh, our website is uh, ohiobrewing.com, so check us out. And if you, you want to uh, have a tasting, please just go on our website. Probably the easiest way, I think. But we're, we're a small brewery. We don't have any regularly scheduled tours, so we'd like to set them up by appointment right now.